Hey guys, welcome to the six pack. Here we are, it's family time, it's the evening. Family in the, the back, family around. over so, here, so you're gonna hear some noise. So, so we got six beers. Yes, we do. Um, Richard went and got some uh, mini growlers. Unlike us, they're a little mini at a local tap room. Yeah. So a uh, couple of them are like loggers. Um, uh, Porter or, uh, uh, I, I really don't know. I think it's a, a nut, a wild right nut, nut crusher. crusher. I think it's either a porter or a stout. So sure. I'll have to look on my phone to, to find out for yeah. sure. But I'm pretty sure it's a stout. And then we have the ultimate mystery beer. Bum, bum, well, bum. Well, before that, we have Tasty and then Fresh Haze. The shoots, the shoots is great, great, great beer, and then the mystery beer that he brought. So yeah, I won't let him see it. So God only knows. I'm like, oh my God, it could be, night, could be so. Pabst Blue Ribbon, but maybe you know, it, it is what it is. Never know, so, so it's, it's not the forty ounce. No, show yet. <laughs> so. we're good. That's coming up though. I'll tell you what. So this one, Richard got. It's from Fram. 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 I know, but... Freem? Freem? Something like that. I always say you have it's to say of, that. It's out of Portland. They're, they're no. no, aren't they out of Portland? No, 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 no. I think the Bend oh. area. Are they? Uh, I'm not sure, but... Where's my phone? They're from Oregon. Yes. Yeah, it's... I'll I tell you what. These guys... Freem. 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 It's P-A-F-R-I-E-M. Freem. I always Freem. say it when you try to hawk up a loogie. Freem! <laughs> it's delicious beer though. So, so this they, they make there. some of the best beers that so, I've had. So since you bought it? Oh, you want you me to open it? I'll open that for you. Right on. Oh. Got it. We have not so, enjoyed any beer up until just now so you know, today. Well, a little bit. We're drinking out of Crux glasses oh. and we have a Crux coming up next. <laughs> All right. So I'll give him a little taste because oh. because I know he likes it. So. Um, this is their mm -hmm. Pilsner. These guys are really, really got this Pilsner dialed down. I got to tell you right now. Earlier I, this evening, I had their Belgian Dark Strong, which was absolutely fabulous. And I had, uh, what was it that I had earlier? It was a rum coconut. A rum coconut porter. porter. It was yeah. amazing. Coconut porter and It wasn't Rover. from Crux, mm -hmm. though. It was from uh, Wild Ride. Wild, Wild Ride. Was it Wild Ride? So very good stuff, very good stuff. So anyway, so this is cheers. Typical. Before we get going, it's uh, P yellow. It's nice beautiful carbonation. Beautiful, beautiful. That's a typical uh, corny Pilsner lager. Smell. Oh, it's so crisp. Yeah. So nice. It's got a nice little hoppiness to it. Oh my 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 grandkids are coming this way. Hi, buddy. That's good. That's good. You come see Pop Up? Come see Pop Up. It's hard to. Uh, Does anybody want to be on the camera? No, they don't. They're too bad. So. All right, because I was going to get them to drink some beer, but they won't drink beer for some reason. Well, kids do not drink beer. Right kids there. do not drink beer. Very good. Kids do not drink beer. You must be 21 to drink beer. Mm -hmm. So there we go. We got we got a seashell for my granddaughter. So there we go. So what do you think about this? I, I think it's a good beer. I love the, I know I refer back to this when I'm drinking the nuttiness. Pilsners, the nuttiness. Uh, it's like a, a hazelnut. It's 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 wonderful. It's toasty, I love that. Nutty. Yeah, toasty nuttiness. And and it's very crisp, very, very light on the palate. It's a little, it has a little bitterness to it, which is nice. Not much. No, though, no, a bit. no. But a Pilsner, a Pilsner should have a little yeah. bit. Just a little bit. It's hard to... For me, it's hard to describe Pilsners and uh, light lagers and regular lagers, just because I guess we're going to have some dinosaurs <laughs> and, and My Little Ponies yeah. tonight. So It's family night, so. Yeah. This is blue, by the way, if none of you knew, this is blue. He's off of uh, Jurassic Park. It's my granddaughter's favorite dinosaur ever. Oh, the T-Rex. Okay. Tell the camera who this is. Tell, t look right over there and tell them who this is. What's his name? What's this guy's name? Um, Barks. That's Barks. Barks. That's right Barks. on. Thank right. you, Gemma. Thank you, Gemma. <laughs> We're broke. Yep. <laughs> it's a very, a very good Pilsner. Um, uh, it's great. I, to I me, these kind of Pilsner's lagers are hard to describe. It, it is. It's got a nice little nuttiness. It's very crisp. 
and clean. Very crisp, clean, yeah. 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 yeah it's, it, it doesn't linger on your tongue. It's something you can drink a lot of. Low alcohol, yeah. usually. Yeah, it's not farty. So, it's, no, it's not farty yeah, at all. It's, yeah, you it's sulfur. Farty. No, uh, Pilsner's lager is a lot of times you get a little sulfur to it. Oh, this it's is not beautiful. Skunky. It's got a great nose and nothing. It's crisp, clean. It's what you want. It is. Crux. I got to tell you right now, you go down to Bend and you try Crux. I'm going to go into the brewery. I know Tim's never been, but we're, yeah. we're planning a trip. Uh, my wife and I went, and it's it's phenomenal. I, I got to tell you, I had every beer on a sampler, and I did not get a bad beer. It was it was great, and they've got a great outdoor area. They've got a beautiful inside area. The food is really good. Plus they have the they have the food inside. Plus they have food carts over oh, by no. the outside area. Not threatened so, by the food carts. Huh? They're not threatened by the food carts. Not at all. Not at all. They they've done a beautiful job. Crux is as always has a double thumbs up for me. Everything I've had from them have been just phenomenal, and and I hope. I hope that someday our brewery By the way, will the be the same way. Oh, sorry. It's Frem. No, it's Frem. Sorry. I'm drinking oh, the he's, he's I'm already on crux. <laughs> <laughs> he's been reading his glass too much, but no, this Frem uh, Pilsner is very delicious. It's very good. It's This is what dad and grandpa should have been drinking what? back in the day. Yeah, I agree. Same, every day after work. This is the beer you want to grab. What's really funny is when I did the Pendleton Roundup, uh -huh. I uh, the tap house that I do the Pendleton the Roundup tap. with, the mobile tap house, Growler Tap Station. Yeah. Um, I think that's what it's called. I gotta remember. Yeah. Anyway, um, uh, they had this on tap the whole time we were down there, and in, in seven days, this is all I drank when yeah. I drank a beer. Don't and need it. It was else. no, it was great. No. It was hot. It was it's it was day refreshing. Day. After work, drink a kind of beer. Oh, you bet. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. It's no different than Bud Bud Light, Coors Coors Light, but better. elevated. So our next up is uh, Crux PCT Porter. We're, we're so, at the Crux, so yeah, yeah. I'm very very much looking forward to this. And to join us for this one is our granddaughter, my granddaughters. Not my Gemma, Gemma, you want to come have a seat? Okay. Want to join us for this one? Arden, you want to come sit on Pop Pop's lap? Yeah. For this one? Yeah, she likes the Pop Pop. Yeah. All right, here we go. And you can hear my other grandchild in the background. So like that's the said, fun part of trying it. It's family night. Family night. All right, so We're all hanging. I'm going to put on my spectacles here. The boys and, are drinking some beers. Yep, yep so. the PCT Porter is uh, a day in, a day out porter. And it's 5.5% ABV, 30 IBUs. Such family, we have the cat. Yep, we even have, I guess we have the cat up here too. So. <laughs> it says, uh, come sundown, who doesn't love putting their feet up with a beer in hand? We certainly do. And so do the Pacific Coast Trail through hikers. And that, Pacific Crest Trail. That's what I said. Pacific Crest Trail. You said Coast. Oh, Pacific Coast. P Pacific, Pacific Crest, Crest Trail, Trail through hikers that take a break from their 2,600 mile yeah. track yeah. Yeah. at our tasting room. 2,600 miles. So That's crazy. It runs from the border of Mexico all the way up into Canada. We need to take that trip. What I was told by my lovely wife that when my daughter turns 18, I can do that. Okay, I'll do it with you. Eight more years. I'll do it with you. We're training. We're doing it. 2,600 mile trike. Trek. Trike. Trike. We can no. do it on trike. No, you can't. Anyway, because if you know anything about Pacific Crest Trail, it's very difficult. You start in the sun where it's like beating you down burning you, your you feet start down in mexico day. yes you don't start in canada no nah, some people do but uh the tradition is you start down there on the border you hike all the way up you gotta hike uh what is it uh 15 miles a day minimum uh just to make it to make the it before the season yeah ends. and then you'll end up in california high mountain range where you're hiking through snow and there's oh, different, over it. different yeah. stops on the way where you plan pickups for food and everything. Amazing. Nice. So, uh, 
there's been a couple so eight years so. eight years and we'll be putting this on our youtube channel as well but it says here we brewed this highly drinkable porter with rich roasted aromas and notes of dark chocolate for just such occasions with lasting smoothness and sweet finish this porter is ideal to end a long satisfying journey well today has been quite a journey for me so I'm pretty sure it's going to be a long, satisfying it's a, journey it's with a, a good end. Typical porter, nice dark, nice beautiful tan head. You smell it, you get That's a little a nice roasty, chocolatey, roasty. Uh, typical porter smell. Very clean smell. Oh my lord. That's really good. You know, I, I'll go back to my trucks. You know, it's after going to, to Bend and drinking at different breweries. This is probably my favorite. I gotta tell you, they, they don't have any beer that I don't like. This is it's what weird a, to find a place like that, isn't it? To me, this is what a porter should be. You know? A lot of people think porter is thicker, uh, oh. sugarier than a stout, but it's not. No, it should be light, Yeah, crisp, clean, a little dry on yeah. the tongue a little bit. You get the nutty, yeah. you get the roasty, you get the chocolate, you get just very little bitterness I, to balance out the sweetness of it. Can you say hi to everybody? Can you wave like this? Wave to the camera. <laughs> say hi. Say hi. Not say hi. <laughs> You're not gonna so, say hi? I could right. imagine this on a nice long 15, 20 mile day at night. Oh, Take at the end of the day? Yeah, that's good. So eight years from now, yeah, we're, we're doing, doing it. it. Yep, the Bird Brothers. Yep. Right on. Let's and you know what? Up. I think we should yeah. make this a fundraiser. We're gonna. We we already have a charity that we really really like. We've talked about that for a long time, many many times. And just walking and walking, just walking. and you know it's a twenty eight hundred mile hike. Instead of it would be great if it was twenty two hundred miles. Yeah. But yeah, go ahead and tell them about your, your the, what, the charity that we. Oh, uh, about. lift for the twenty two. Uh, I can't great. talk about it enough. Uh, I want to do a fundraiser to walk twenty two miles. And on the way, I want people just to join in and we'll have a backpack on. And I just want people to donate money in our backpack. 22 yep. miles. 22 miles. This 22 gives veterans um, a counseling and gym memberships to get through their hardship of war and combat and just that grief that they have well, on themselves. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the reason they named it that is because 22 veterans and active military commit suicide every single yeah. day. It's, Man, it, it's, it's more now. It's yeah. more now, yeah. So, but, so it's something we feel very, yeah. you very love proud our and we, we've got a lot of feeling about. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, 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 look for that. Um, one of the things that I've been contemplating, and I know Tim and I have talked about, is uh, donating a percentage of our proceeds from our brewery when we yep. get it open to them to help our veterans out. So. Ultimately, I want to make one beer. That's our hero beer. Yeah, hero beer. Yeah, so much of that beer goes to... Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps a, thinking about it. It's, it's our so hero exciting. Beer. Yeah. I don't want to call it Our America. dad's a veteran. Yeah. I don't want to call it America. I want to call it hero beer. Hero beer. Because that's what they are. They're heroes. And it's not just military men. It's, no, it's, it's first heroes. responders. Oh, yeah. You know, well, you uh, know, it's funny because most of the police officers, a lot of police officers, a lot of... A lot of fire fire personnel and paramedics and stuff yeah. they have training yeah and they've been through the military oh, yeah. so awesome. you know it's it's a great thing we feel very passionate about yeah. that <laughs> very much and so, so uh, that's that's one of the things that we're going to focus towards yeah. when we have our business. we have in our family yeah really no uh, uncle frank oh uncle frank uncle frank yeah, and yeah. dad yeah. so yeah, we're definitely looking forward to that. So it's it's going to be a good thing. So mark your calendars. Eight years, eight years from February twelfth. February twelfth is my niece that I can't remember her birthday, and, and his daughter's birthday. Eighteenth. We're gonna start. What's that? A PCT trail. The eighteenth. That's when she turns. That's her eighteenth birthday. We're gonna start it on the thirteenth. Yeah. Because we got to be here for her birthday. Well, maybe not. We'll do it the, after February 12th, the next season of hiking. Because you got oh, yeah. oh, yeah, to There's a lot okay. of permits and stuff you have to get. To hike? Yeah. Yeah. It's right. very, and there are only so many people are allowed. 
permits and just really? Give, yeah. Really? Yeah, I it, figured it's if you very, want to hike, you can hike. No, it's very technical. So but we're, we're gonna do it. Twenty eight hundred miles. Oh, yeah. So anybody wants so to join in, us? In eight years oh. it'll be old. Uh, 58. 58. And yeah. how old are you going to be? I'm eight years younger than you. I'll be 50. You'll be 50. So it's 50th. No. And when he turns no. 50, we'll We're do it. We're going to do it. So until then, hopefully we have a brewery. Oh, we That's will. Game plan. We will. So a brewery with our hero beer. Hero beer. Yeah. So anybody wants to join us, like he said, you're more than welcome to join us. It's going to be a hell of a hike. It's going to be a lot of fun. And, and I want to make it. Yeah. We'll make it. I have no doubt. Yeah. We'll make it. The bigger the group, the better. I think. Yeah, we'll we'll have a few beers on the way. Yeah. We'll 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 enjoy ourselves. Yeah. It's going to be fun. It's about finding it's, ourselves it's and not finding a, it's, life again. It's not about serious. It's about having fun yeah. and and paying homage to those yeah. those that, a, that that have served us. If we make it five miles, or if we make it twenty six hundred miles, who cares? It doesn't matter. We're just going to do it. So. Um, that's great. Let's finish I, our I, beers. Yeah, we'll finish our beers and we'll be right back. Hey, everybody. So we're back. <laughs> we truly <laughs> enjoyed the Crux Porter. Oh, delicious. It was really perfect good. Porter. As you it's can see, porter. our my grandkids, his <laughs> nieces, right? No, my great nieces. Probably great good. nieces. Well, they're my nieces. nieces and your daughter. Yeah, your great nieces. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, I'm getting old. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So I need to get me some more beer, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, Papa. Did you say Papa need beer? Yeah. Yeah. So our next beer is Wild Ride, and they are I don't even know where they're out of. Yeah. Maybe we should say uh, Redmond. 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 Yeah. And yeah. this Aldi. is called their Nut Crusher Porter. Peanut Butter Porter. Oh yeah, it's. Uh, 6% 18 IVUs. Um, they say we love beer and we love peanut butter. Uh, Nut Crusher Peanut Butter Porter is here to bring the best of these two worlds together. With notes of chocolate and caramel, this porter is complemented by the addition of creamy peanut butter flavor. It's a true liquid peanut butter cup and it's here for your, you to enjoy. Oh, excuse me. So right. we've had peanut butter porters before. Oh yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's rough. Stout, but it's rough. It, that was a peanut butter milk stout. So, but just smell that peanut uh, butter. Peanut cup. butter. You want to smell it? Peanut butter. Smell it. Mm. it smell good? Yeah. 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 It smells good. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. So. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Yeah. 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 You mouth. can't have none though because you're little, huh? Yeah. But you can have some root beer. Yeah. So you definitely get that peanut yeah, butter. Your, your root beer is over there. Yeah. You better yeah. go get your beer. Do you, do you want a glass like this? Yeah. With some yeah. root beer? Yeah. Mommy's over there. Where's mommy? Mommy? That one over there. Mommy, in, in the cupboard over there is a glass like this. Okay. And then there's some root beer right there by the coffee pot. That way you can have a root beer with us, okay? Yeah. Yeah, because that's a kid's beer, huh? Root beer. Yeah. So what do you yeah. think about that? I think it's good. It's great. She wants one of these glasses, though. Yeah, there. Oh, mommy's got your special glass. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing about this I wish it had is a little that, sweeter. That milkiness, that yeah. creaminess yeah. from the milk stout. Yeah. yeah, other I than that, that this is that. a porter with peanut butter in it. Here she comes. She's bringing it. That's my daughter. You won't see her much, but... Oh, oh here. You tell me how that smells. Smell it. It smell good? Yeah, you gotta oh. taste it. She's drinking it. She's drinking oh, her It tastes like root beer? Yeah. Oh, right so, on. Can we cheers? Cheers. Put your glass up. Here. Like this. We gotta clink up. Cheers. Oh, cheers. So... It's definitely a porter. It's definitely peanut butter. Um, it's not as creamy as a little dry. But it's a porter. It's a porter. It's not a <laughs> earthquake. Peanut, <laughs> peanut butter milk stuff. It's not a peanut butter milk stuff. But it is very delicious. So, guys, I'm So, what do you think of your root beer? Two, one, two. Think that was a pretty good root beer? Yeah. Yeah? No. What does it taste like? What? Yeah. It tastes like root beer. Oh, it smells like root beer. 
Thumbs up, right? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Root beer. Can you do this? Yeah. yeah. Good job. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the best right. darn root beer. Yeah, ever. yeah. So. <laughs> It's a crazy night. It is. It's a pretty crazy night. This is this is what it's about, though. It's about your family. She's blowing her conch shell. Conch shell. Conch. 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 conch whatever. She's blowing out a seashell. Yeah. She's tired of listening to the ocean, and so yeah. she's yeah. make yeah. a whistle out of it. So. We, can, we can actually listen to the ocean. Oh, the Krugs yeah. make that noise. The Krugs. The Krugs. We watched Krugs, Krugs the other day. Nice. Why so do they make that noise? Well, what they have found is a seashell with two empty tips, and they blow it on one side and make that noise. Oh, you're yeah. kidding. What does it do after they make the noise? Yep. Yep. Does it call in people? Yep, they called somebody. Oh, it called somebody. It's the... Uh, Used to be warning sign, early warning, warning sign. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> no, not that. No, I'm thinking that. Uh, tsunami warning. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the, day, so. the the caveman day of uh, walkie talkies. Oh shit! You better cover your ass. Kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Uncle Tim, mm -hmm. you can watch Cruise. I will. I'll watch Cruise. Because it is a really good cartoon. All right. I'll remember that, okay? Okay. Maybe you could write it on a list. I will. Watch. Uh, it's on my hand. It's on my arm. It's in my brain. Okay? No. Yeah, it's in my brain. Right here, okay? Yeah. All right. Uncle Tim, I what? am going to go and get you a piece of paper. Okay, right thank now. you. Um, go ahead and get a piece of paper yeah. so you can write it down. And... Well, there we go. <laughs> we're going to finish these and then we'll be right back again. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Well, you got to meet my family, at least my grandkids. It's all good. Of course, family. So now it's time to get a little serious. Not. We never get serious. So um, those were my three that we picked. Uh, the Frame 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 Pilsner, the Crux Pacific Coast Trail. And then the Wild Ride Nut Crusher. So all now three, we're gonna very all three delicious beers. Good beers. Very good good beers, beers, yeah. So now we're gonna move on to uh, Tim's beers. A little more accessible chose. nationwide kind of beers. Uh, yep. well at least one. Well, I mean most of these you can get. Oh, yeah, I have no idea. I mean get a lot. Stuff. I know that uh, Crux and Wild Ride that Columbia carries them. Uh, nationwide uh, distri or just distribution. I I don't know. I don't know, but I know they carry them. <laughs> so this here, you know, it's funny. I, I want to say this because before they changed the can, I swear to God, my brother was the model for that. I wasn't that bad. Oh, yeah. He was. was. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, his oh, wife even yeah, agrees. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, But now they changed it. It looks like some zombie guy on there. No, it uh, looks like Ben Franklin. A a bit, uh, like a zombie brand. Tasty ben IPA. Uh, Tasty's good. If y'all aren't home brewers and you don't know, Tasty is one of the most recognized home brewers around. Yeah. Where he goes to breweries with his recipes and they are willing to brew it. This started out as a uh, one off. Yeah. Now it's a seasonal release by the 21st Amendment. Really good beer. It's a great balance IPA. It really is. Basically, it really um, is. I think it's. So we're going from one end of the spectrum to the other, yeah. and I have no idea what the hell. No, that that's is. that's a secret. Probably there. it's probably going to be Pabst Blue Ribbon or something uh, I hope so. like that. So, so this is six point eight percent alcohol, seventy IBU. Um, I do believe they use a Zaka, Equinox, and uh, CTZ in this well, they for hops. Oh, Calypso, Calypso too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, newer hops for most people. Well, they have. Uh, there's another hop in there too. I can't remember. It's not Amarillo. No. Oh, man, just just smell. Oh that. no, just I can smell, smell right oh, here. It smells so good. Uh, they, man, it's like it's like whopping, whopping, mm -hmm. whopping into a hop farm, whopping into yeah. a hawk farm. No, walking Chemical into a hop West farm. Coast flavors. It's um, it's gonna be it's gonna be bitter. That's all it is. No, it's gonna be balanced. 
Yeah, this one's more balanced than most of them. Funny thing, I pick up a lot of mango right now. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Mango, uh, citrus, like... Uh, oh, I get uh, citrus. That's like a lemon, orange, grapefruit combined. And then throw a mango in there for me. For me, I don't know. It's, that's what I pick up on the nose. We'll call it a lord fruit. <laughs> With orange grapefruit. We'll call it delicious. A lord <laughs> fruit. So it's very clear. Like It's very nice. Very it's so clear that you can see the head floating on top, which is awesome. It's like being under the water looking up at the, the waves. That's such a good IPA. You know, it's funny because um, when I had the restaurant, I was able to get these beers. The brick and, and mortar. Everything, the brick and mortar. And, and uh, you no, know, the only way we can get this Monica, beer. Monica came to me and she says, Tim really likes this beer. And I said, Oh, he really, really, wants it. really wants this beer. He never couldn't find it, it anywhere. Mm -hmm. He read about it and, and I was able to get a case of it. And, and a distributor, get it for Christmas? Of a distributor of a distributor. No, <laughs> right. it was his for his birthday. Yeah. That's what it was, his birthday. And, and it, you know, I, I ended up buying several cases. I had it on, didn't I have it on tap? No, no, no never no, did. No, no, it was, it was just by the case. Then. Very exclusive. When it first came out last year, it was very exclusive. Yeah. And we had so many left. six packs of it. We had a lot. Yeah, we did. We, we did. enjoyed it. We loved it. it was now really you good. can pick up this can for $3. For one can. For this yeah, 20 ounce a, can, yeah. three bucks at the local grocery store. 19.2 pretty fucking amazing yeah and it has uh, they changed the logo a little bit from tasty to like ben franklin because there's this kite right there too but <laughs> i really like the old logo i really did it yeah, reminded me of you yeah you know what I, 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 I need to find the old logo you know but it's very the mango mm. citrusy i don't get the mango but i do get the citrus and the grapefruit the, it's like a lemon, orange, grapefruit, grapefruit all mixed together. Yeah, not overly bitter. No, For no, it's, it's it's not like it blows. It, it it's it's a little more bitter than like a hazy. Well, yeah, but not not over the top. It's not bitter. a West Coast IPA. Yeah, West Coast IPA is so bitter that it's overly yeah. bitter. In my point, I get, in my I get that opinion. Oh, but sorry. this to me is like the perfectly balanced IPA. It's a good balance. If you want a perfect IPA, I would. Well, I can't See, say I'm, perfect. I'm, I'm real big on the 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 alcohol by volume matching the, the IB. I, IBUs. Yeah. I'm really big on that. Or and really close. They're really close. Yeah, if it's you know five percent alcohol and it has five uh, the 50. You know, five, 50 IBUs, then I think it's going to be fifty to sixty. IBUs. Yeah, it's going to be a really it's, good, yeah, exactly. very well balanced exactly. beer, and that's that's what I found. Over all my beer. I mean, I don't brew beer. Don't get me wrong. He does. <laughs> yeah, just but, like uh, I, I, yeah. Not I, a heavily I, consumer or nothing. No, <laughs> not at all. But, you know, that's just what I've found over the, over the years is is when the ABV matches the IBUs or real close mm -hmm. therein, you've got a well-balanced beer. Honestly, I really, okay. besides the hot, uh, hype of it, I really do love this IPA. I really absolutely do. If I'm thinking of it's an got IPA, some nice bitterness to it. it it's like a uh, pale ale. On, it's like Sierra Nevada pale ale on steroids. Yes. And that's perfect. It's all, a little less than their uh, Sierra Nevada Torpedo. Oh, yeah. Which is their IPA. But yet it's... Their pale ale, I always thought, was hoppy. For oh, pale ale. <laughs> when we first started drinking oh, Sierra Lord. Nevada. Oh, my Lord. So, oh, so bitter. So I can't uh, yeah. handle it, you know. Um, then we went to Lagunitas IPA. It's like, oh my God, that was melt your face off bitter. Good. And it was good. Bitter. And then, yeah, it was bitter. And then, and now, I, now I drink it and I think, well, oh, because their ABVs and their I, IBUs match a lot. Yeah, it's so like it's a, a very good, so. very well balanced IPA. To me, this is one of the better IPAs. So around. for me, this is right up there. Mm -hmm. But. You know, I'm gonna go back to my favorite Crocs and the Gimme Mo IPA. Oh, that's delicious! Oh my lord, that is probably the most well balanced IPA I've ever had. It's, it's a little more uh, mouthfeel, yeah. In this, yes. The nice thing about this, it like dries off your tongue. It's like, okay, I'm ready for another drink. 
Yeah. Like, give me more IPA. Yeah. You think? You think so? Because I think this one lingers a little more than the, the bitterness a little bit. The bitterness lingers more. The the give me more IPA has a little bit less. Yeah. Less of the bitterness. I yeah. Think. It's a little less That's bitterness, my in my opinion. Yep, I agree. So, anyway, to me, if I think IPA, I think this beer. If um, I think my glass is empty, we're gonna open another one. So. <sighs> Next up uh, is the shoots. Oregon, gotta, you gotta love it. You know, we we, we choose a lot of Oregon beers because, you know what, Oregon, or, <laughs> we live here and uh, Oregon beers are pretty damn phenomenal. Yeah, California beer. I I love all sorts of beers. Oh yeah, you know I I love hazy IPAs. I mean that's oh. that's mm -hmm. yeah that's the thing right there because I think. Easy. I, I had one earlier, mm -hmm. and or two or three. I can't remember <laughs> four. Or five. But uh, <laughs> the hazy IPAs are so well balanced, and that's if they're done right. And that's like you and I talked about was uh, the hazy IPAs are like what home brewers have done for years. They yeah. don't filter it, no, and and they just get that well balanced, nice, beautiful beer. It's got a great aroma. It's got a great mouthfeel. It's easy to drink, but yet. It, it doesn't linger, and you it's, just want to drink more it's and a more. Unfiltered, balanced IPA. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. And that's what a hazy should be. A lot of people took hazy out of control, yeah. started calling it milkshakes, and things. Yeah, I don't get that. They, I don't get that. It's kind of like the cream ales. Some when you hear cream ale, what do you think? Oh, it's gonna vanilla. Be like milk. It's gonna yeah. be like a milkshake. Yeah. No, that's not what a cream ale is. Cream ale is a blonde ale. With, or a pilsner or a lager with low corn in it. Yeah, that's what a cream ale is. It's very delicious. A lot, oh, of, but it's not what you're thinking of yeah. if you're if you're just starting to drink or or, or brew. just brew or or Some, what have you. You think of you know uh, the one that comes to mind is uh, a cream ale. I think of the peanut butter milk stout. Belgian beer. That's not I know it's not a cream ale, but it's what in my cream, mind. Yeah. I think of for yeah. a cream ale, I want it to be creamy, cream soda, cream yeah, soda. Exactly. You know, it's, like it's so nice and creamy. Vanilla, yeah, but that's not a cream ale. No, is, not at know? all. So, oh, a lot of people, uh, I think of a cream ale. I think of Pelican, co uh, co a Kwanda cream, cream. Kwanda cream, and is that's a great just a cream really ale. good blonde ale with a little corn. Yep. That's all cream yep. ale is, and, and oh. it's good. It's good, but it's, it's not good. what a lot of people expect yeah, for a cream yeah. ale. Quite um, honestly. Uh, judging homebrew competitions, a lot of newer homebrewers will put like vanilla and stuff like that in their cream ale, and they get like 20 points out of 100 or whatever, 50. And they're going, why did I only score 20? That's a cream ale. It's like, uh, well, you because in it, you got to read cream the soda. guidelines. It's uh, like a cross between a, a lager and a blonde ale. Yeah, it's, it's not a cream nothing soda. nothing to do with a cream soda. Doesn't yeah. that be no, sweet? No. It doesn't have to be anything. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to introduce this one. Okay. Go you can fight it. me. Let's no. do <laughs> All right. So, he already kind of introduced. <laughs> and this is Deschutes Brewing. What's they got it called? A, they got a great logo here. I really love the logo. What is it? And it's What's called Fresh Haze. What's the logo look like? Well, that's a couple hops and then something it, in between. It's a They're hop, squishing them. It's They're a hop smashing. bud and smashed in a vice to get that. Yeah, hop, see there? See there? They're done. squishing them. So, it, I uh, it's an IPA. It's, on, they make a... Uh, it's called their Fresh Haze. They make an IPA called... Uh, you don't have to do that, but I know. I'm just fucking with you. They make an IPA called Fresh Squeeze, which yes. is like all fresh hops. So I think this is their hazy IPA version of that. I haven't had it at all. Have you? No. No. So it looks like orange juice. It really, it really does look like orange it juice. It smells like orange juice. It's it's the perfect cloudiness. It smells like orange juice. Orange with grapefruit rind. Oh, here, let, let me read a little bit here. Oh, uh, let's see here. They're out of Bend, of course. Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of Bend. So, uh, They're not out of Bend. Yes, they are. are they? The Shoots Brewing, Bend, Oregon. Oh. I, thought they were, like, uh, I went there, so I, I should have. like Hood River, do you? No. no. Uh, hazy Twist on your main squeeze. 
This juice bomb <laughs> explodes with notes of orange citrus, yep. sweetness, mm -hmm. and a soft malty body. Mm -hmm. Kind of like me, a soft malty body. But little, uh, 45 I. <laughs> now, see, I, I, I look at this one and I'm going, okay, so it's not going to be as balanced because it's a 45 IBU, 6.5% alcohol. They get this thing to about a 60 IBU with a 6.5, it's going to be perfect. But that's just me. Yeah. Yeah. Just or if they had four and a half percent, that would be even better. Let's see. They could I, I smell orange right up there. Oh, yeah. Orange mixed with grapefruit. Right yeah. There. Oh, yeah. Bam. Perfect. Oh, it's got some bitterness to it. Wow. Mm -hmm. See, I think that's more bitter than the tasty. Oh, not to me. Yeah. It's very creamy. Like, the mouth feels very thick on it. Think so? Yeah, I like it though. It's not like evaporating out of your mouth, out of your tongue. My tongue's it's like really dry right now. Yeah, maybe need to drink some water. <laughs> no, no, maybe but... drink some water. Yeah, to me, and this this goes to show you that that everybody's taste buds are different. Yeah. This to me is very dry, very bitter. It's not what I would expect for a hazy IPA. Very bitter for a 40 IBU beer. Yeah, it's it's really to me really it bitter. has like the orange juice uh, citrus twang to it. Like I don't know how else to explain it. The citrus. Yeah, it's got yeah. a little bit of. Yeah, I don't care for a lot of orange beers, like a blood orange beers. To <sighs> me, I don't they're, really care for them that much. Like yeah, it. yeah. Uh, the zing form is like a little too much for me, yeah. but I apologize for the yawn. He's getting old. I'm getting bored. Past no, I'm no. joking. But no, it's it's a good beer. I think it has, not the best hazy IPA I've ever had. No, it's it's not as balanced as I'd expect mm -hmm. from a uh, hazy. It almost to me, it's almost like a bad version of a. Uh, Blood orange wheat. Yeah. It's not bad though. It's not a bad beer. Would you drink it a lot? No. No, that's probably what we can't all buy. And shocking from the shoots. Very dry on my tongue. It's very, very dry. Yeah. For me, this is very shocking from the shoots. Yeah, it's it really like they is. try to rush something. Yeah, yeah. the shoots yeah. is usually really, really good. Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite pale ales from the shoots. Like a mirror bond. Mirror bond. Yeah, the go-to pale ale for me. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sold on it. No, it's all right. But it's okay. So. Well, I think we should take a break. All right. And then we'll come back and we'll drink your brown bag. Yeah. Well, the mystery beer. The mystery beer. It's gonna be really dish delicious. D dish delicious. D yeah. Dish delicious. All right, we'll be right back, guys. Hey guys, well we're back. Uh, we enjoyed our beers, I guess. Yeah. Now it's time for the it brown bag. It's time. It's the mystery beer. Time. Boys and girls, women and children, step aside. We got this mystery beer. Hopefully, it doesn't have any cocoa in it. No. Cocoa. in this one. This is a beer we once thoroughly enjoyed on deck. Oh, it must be one place. Light. No. One place. A one place, one time we said, oh man, this is so good. This is great. I love it. We did that once. One time. Yep. One time I enjoyed this beer and now you're bringing At it. At least one time. Bag. So... I think I got my keys on me for the opener. This is the first bottle of tonight. The first, the last. I mean the last mm -hmm. bottle of tonight. No, because we didn't have to crack open a bottle. Tonight. Oh yeah, true. So mystery bear. Da, 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 da. I'm a little scared, da, 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 I gotta da, da, tell you. Da, 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 da. Blue moon. <laughs> <laughs> Blue moon yeah. Belgian white. Wait a minute. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. 
He's grabbing some orange. Grab some orange. Big old slices of orange, Rich. We oh, need I got this. A I whole, got this. No, a whole slice will stick it in our glass. And all of us. Right? We did once enjoy this. Where was it? Blue moon. Yeah. So is that the blue moon? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Just so we're little, gonna drink this nasty on, beer. Hold on, hold on. No, it's actually a good beer. Oh, you done it like that. I yeah. was hoping for a big old slice of it. So, boys and girls, we did enjoy this blue moon at a bar called the Blue Moon. <laughs> <laughs> and they had a slice of orange white yeah. in it. What's really funny about the blue moon is that was the first date I had with my wife 28 years ago. Not the beer. Not the beer, my wife. At the bar slash restaurant here in McMinnville, yeah. Oregon. So wow, Blue Moon! I can't believe you yeah. bought Blue Moon. What uh, a great way to start to tan the night. Yeah, I had to. Very yeah. nostalgic. Yeah, I like that. I yeah, love it. So oh, it smells like orange. It's uh, imagine <laughs> that. But. That is your classic wheat beer. I know it's a Belgian wine, but which is a wee beer. Yeah. Wow, that has no flavor except for orange. Orange right now. Yeah. I was hoping you so, get the whole. Oh no. kind of thing, Yeah, I just grabbed a chunk. No, I thought it'd be funny. Um, we did enjoy this beer once. It used blue to be moon our tavern. our micro brew years ago. Yeah. We walked uh, in the Blue Moon Tavern and said, "Ah, give us a Blue Moon." Came out with a big old slice of orange on yeah, it. Yeah. You drank it, you said, man, it tastes like orange. Oh, that is delicious. Yeah. And right now, it's, it's good. Very delicious. It's good. <laughs> so, so, Blue very Moon good. is very commercial. It's like 1% alcohol. No, 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 I'm joking. No, no. It's probably like, like 4.5. Four Anyways, it's like owned by like Coors or it? Bud Light oh. or something. Taste responsibly. That is probably the Golden Colorado. The most tasteless beer we've had since we've started these. 5.4% oh, 5.4, wow. Well, well, you added the orange slice, so it's not that tasteless. Tastes like, tastes like orange. And I'm not fans of orange beers. <laughs> unless they have a slice of orange in it, so... That's really different. Mm. But fun. It is. You laughed. It is. It you is. enjoyed it. Yeah. Couldn't figure it out. Yeah. Brown bag mystery beer. Yep. Won't be success. long. We're going to be doing my beers. Success or no success? Success. Yeah. What's your favorite beer? Tonight? Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm going to have to go with the... I'm going to go with the Frame Pilsner. That uh, tastes so delicious. good to me. Uh, Crocs one. PCT Trail, very delicious. Bar. Really good, yeah. Uh, wild oh, I know. Ride. Yours, yours is the shoots. The wild it? Ride Nut Crusher. It was good. 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 I wish it was the uh, uh, Belgian Beaver Milk. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Nothing uh, against Wild no, Ride. They no, do good, no, some good no. stuff. So My go-to, my favorite, everybody should know. Tasty. Tasty. The tasty IPA. Yeah, see, I've been in a... A Pilsner, no, no. Uh, this food. So, uh, Fram Pilsner is like uh, yeah. go to. I'm off work. I'm gonna sit at home, crack a beer. You betcha. You betcha. This could even be a beer balmer. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. What's your least favorite beer? Least favorite beer. I hate to say it, but it's dish shoots. I take uh, Blue Moon over the dish shoots. Oh. Just because I have orange peel. Orange yeah, oh, yeah, 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 true. I, I just didn't What's my it. least favorite? Yep. The shoots. The shoots. Which sucks. I didn't care for that because yeah. I, I love the shoots oh. and it, it really breaks my heart a little bit. You know, they're because, fresh, because they're fresh squeezes. is very delicious. Oh, very good. Very With good. they're fresh haze. <sighs> I can't give them thumbs well, I give them a half thumbs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so. so. Anyways, the way it goes. It is. It is what it is. Remember, if you, if you like a beer, we're just 
couple just fat guys drink enjoy it. it. Drink if it. you like it, you enjoy it, just drink it. Drink it. Live in the moment. look, we're enjoying a blue moon right now. Yeah. Live in the moment. Uh, some shows to come up. We we have to do a sour. Sour? Sour, um, we're going to do a 40. A 40 ounce. Oh my God, we're going to do 40 some 40. That's going to be some naps and some Six 40 eight. ounces. Yeah, in, there you go. In brown bags. Yes. In brown so, bags. Uh, and we're going to do on, on location. On location, we're going to be a couple different tap rooms here in yeah. McMinnville. So us, we look forward uh, to seeing everybody. Um, yeah, yeah. They gave us a go-to, and said that'd be yeah. awesome to yeah. talk to the owner. So, and, yeah, we're and, uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this, and hopefully, we'll get into some of the actual breweries. It's a little tough because, you know, if you if you don't if you don't like a beer, you know, we're we're gonna be honest about it. Not rude, but not rude. Yeah, we're going to say what we taste. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and a lot of brewers out there don't like that too much. Because so. honestly, one of our favorite breweries, we didn't care for that beer. Yeah, is the shoots. Yeah, but we didn't. Yeah. We didn't say oh, no. that fucking so. No, not shit. at all. Not no, at all. Not at all. all. It's still a okay beer. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a good beer. Yeah, good I wouldn't turn it down if somebody gave it to me. Oh, now oh, you know yeah. it, it's it's all right. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't turn down a Coors Light either. Hell no. If that's all I had to drink. You know, it's funny because Coors Light, we go, we do that, uh, the St. Paul Rodeo rib yeah, cook off. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and all they have is Coors and Coors Light, and we'll drink a Coors oh. and Coors Light out there, and it's so nutty and so great. Still thing. to the stay at home, Brew Buddies. Oh my uh, gosh. Uh, we talk about it. We talk about it at a friend's birthday party. And yeah. he goes, Yeah, I gotta admit, Coors Light was nutty. And then tasted yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, you know, yeah, little fact, I know. I'm a nerd, woo, woo. but uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Coors Light sells more beer than Coors, Bud Light, and Budweiser all combined. Yeah, isn't Some, that amazing? Sometimes you just got to brew to your crowd, brew to the people, crowd. yeah, or whatever. Yeah, if you it gotta, sells, you got to brew it. Exactly, exactly. So you I know, would I'd, love, but like Coors Bud. They they brew like a sixteen percent beer or something. Oh really? Oh, and then they dilute it for Budweiser. Have you they tried dilute, the Have you tried the Budweiser. new Bud, Budweiser out that has uh, the uh, amber? Or the, it's a brewed you know, uh, a whiskey barrel, Jack no. Daniel's barrel. No. Yeah, no. I haven't tried that yet. Maybe coming up. Maybe you never know. <laughs> so anyway, thank well, you for enjoying our family. It's yeah, it's, it's been, been a good family. night. It's a little Pretty quiet great. now compared to earlier. But it was. It, <laughs> it is. You got to love it. We love kids. We love family. We love beer. So drink to your family. Drink to your friends. Enjoy your beer. Cheers. Bye.